Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to Soft Solution Repairs and again Akil is with you. As you can see this is Audio IC and I already have a video about basic Audio IC repair with these jumpers C12, H12, J12 and E12. I'll leave the video link in the description below and you can also get the link by pressing the card appears on top right corner of the screen. Now let's go back to our video and let me tell you I'm uploading this video because Audio IC still won't work after those jumpers and E1 Audio IC replacement. And the problem is here D12. Look at that. D12 is wobbly and when we solder Audio IC it solders on the pad but apparently disconnects when board cools down. Let me take you to ZXW, mm, ta -da -da. iPhone series, iPhone 7 Plus and here is iPhone 7 Plus Intel board. Uh, bottom layer and here is our audio IC. We are looking for D12 and here is D12. Yeah, this line called PP1V8 SDRAM means PP 1.8 volt and it connects to SD RAM and this line connects to the IC with four pads but if you see IC's data sheet all these pads don't connect to each other that's why D12 is very important so for stability we'll make jumpers between D12 and G12 so let's go ahead and make jumpers between these two traces and hopefully it will work so we'll put some flux uh, on the traces and then find thinnest possible wire so we can make jumpers in between them and these two traces are going to be uh, stable because when board gets bent around this area the traces underneath these uh, these pads which is inside the motherboard uh, normally second third lines uh, they get they get damage as well so that's why it's it's not stable so that's why we're making these jumpers so when you making make jumpers just make sure you you don't make bridges and uh, keep them away from the capacitors on top and traces on the bottom it's not gonna make any short to these lines just like that as you can see I'm making uh, them away and then we'll cover it with UV oil and then cure it with UV light so they dry the jumper dries properly um, and when we solder the IC it will not move around so we'll now going to solder the IC let's put some flux on it and uh, on IC you don't have to replace the IC all the time as I've told you in my other videos as well because uh, IC itself doesn't get damaged but if you see the IC is cracked or chipped around or broken, then you'll have to replace it. Um, normally it happens when you remove the IC, you chip it with your tweezer. But make sure your IC is good. If your IC is good, you don't have to replacement. Um, you don't have to replace the IC. Uh, but if it's not damaged, you can use reball and use same audio IC. So now, as you can see, we have installed the audio IC and it looks all good here and uh, now we'll take take the tape off and make sure clean it properly so it's not gonna make any um, corrosion in the future I just knock this cap off I'm gonna sort this one out and then we all are we all good so let's connect the screen and then connect power supply and then we'll turn it on it's coming on 
it will take a little bit time in the meantime i would suggest for those who haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press bell icon for any future videos and if you have any question please ask in comment below now you can see phone is turned on and we'll put the password in and go to voice memo and press recording and look it's recording uh, the reason it's not showing a recording is just because we don't we haven't connect charging port anyway thanks for watching the video and goodbye for now